Designing and building the heavy lift space launch system is our focus and top priority. SLS will expand human presence beyond low Earth orbit and it's going to enable us to do new missions of exploration across the solar system. This represents to us an enormous opportunity for the entire NASA industry team and we are moving forward in a very different manner. Understanding the economic pressures that our nation is under, we set very tight budget targets and we'll live within them. Therefore, we have accepted the reality that we must embrace change rather than avoid it. We are embracing innovation both technically and in our management processes in order to be successful in these constrained budget environments. Knowing the fiscal realities, NASA engaged our booster prime contractor, ATK, to look for ways to deliver a much more affordable product. They have embraced a process called value stream mapping. Thus far, they have identified over 400 candidate changes representing millions of dollars per flight set in savings. As a matter of fact, through the use of modern techniques and technologies, we have been able to streamline processes and enhance the reliability and quality of the product. We are making progress in driving down costs, streamlining processes, and managing risk by embracing innovation and prudent planning. Our shared goal is to deliver a safe, affordable, and sustainable launch vehicle. In the next few moments, we'd like to share with you some more of the details on how we are approaching this endeavor. When we started the Value Stream Mapping Initiative, we pulled together multiple cross-functional teams and challenged them with very aggressive reduction targets that forced them to think differently. We wanted the teams to use their experience to do a deep dive and evaluate the individual processes end-to-end -end with a fresh perspective. We asked them to identify the waste in each process and propose ideas on how we could produce the same great product, yet more affordably. The team started by identifying the current condition. No computers were used. This was done visually with arrows, post-it notes, and hand-drawn icons on a wall to help in detailing the processes. The value stream map process has given me the opportunity to share my ideas as we've gone through and put the process up on the wall. Everybody's been able to give their input and really show where we can make improvement and it's really exciting to see it move forward. As the team worked together over several months, they discovered many opportunities for improvement, but it grew into something even bigger. A movement started to grow. People started to believe that NASA and leadership were serious about change this time. Employees at every level were providing feedback and ideas they believed could result in significant improvements. You could feel a sense of teamwork and passion as everybody worked together to make a difference that would result in a positive change. One example is improvements in handling where we looked at product moves on the shop floor and in between buildings. The fewer times we transport a segment, the less chance there is of something going wrong. The less we move it, the less it costs. In one area, we had to move a segment 47 times through processing. The team identified ways to reduce the number of moves to seven. Another improvement is optimizing inspection plans to use the inspection methods best suited to specific hardware features. With our new phased array ultrasonic system, we can inspect a nozzle right here on the nozzle floor, which will save us approximately 80% cycle time. In some areas, we identified steps in our processes that are no longer needed. For example, a con scan inspection to check the surface of each case prior to bonding the insulation to the steel. With the use of new insulation materials and ultraviolet inspection, we determined this inspection was not value added. The value stream change that we made was to eliminate the ConScan process. By doing that, we reduced the cycle time by 85 hours for every motor, and per year, we eliminate 640 hours of maintenance and calibration costs on the tooling. One of the things we changed was to use an improved UT inspection technique. Using this new technique, it's allowed us to cut our processing times in half for that same inspection. The changes that we are proposing do not increase our technical risk. If anything, they decrease our technical risk um, and allow us to find the defects and remove them from the process and the design to give a better part, a more reliable part, something that uh, we're proud to hand off. These are just a few of the improvements we are making as we transform our business and culture. We estimate that these improvements will reduce the total component processing time by 46% compared to the Ares and Shuttle program. I know we can be more affordable without jeopardizing safety or reliability. We're committed to supporting NASA's vision of a space launch system that is affordable, sustainable, and will make us all proud.